Rolling Loud Radio every Friday night. You would never want to miss Radio right here with DJ Five Venoms. We got a special guest, Haiti Baby. What is good, bro? Hey, what's going on, dog? How you living? Great, man. Great. Uh, Bay Area, Stockton, California. Uh, were you born and raised in Stockton, or is that uh, where you grew up mainly? I was born in a town, raised in 209. Yep. Okay. That's Stockton. Dope, dope. Uh, you have a background, Guyanese and Haitian. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Uh, how how has that influenced you growing up uh, being Haitian? I, I live in Miami, so uh, the uh, Haitian influence in Miami is very strong. How is that for you growing up uh, in the Bay Area? I always, always knew I was Guyanese. I did research about my father like when I was like in high school, junior year. To, to really get to know him more instead of having that hate for him. Like, where were you? Or, you know, he passed away when I was young. So okay. I was just a mystery there. So I found out he was half patient and I just was like, you know, self-knowledge, knowledge of self. In order to feel comfortable with myself, I felt like I needed to do that. To just, to just feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Just like, it's a part of me. So I named myself Haiti Baby. Only part I don't like is the baby, because then when I get older, I'm gonna have to rock with the baby. Like, ah, oh, shit. Like, it's, like but the... it's all good though. I, I love it. Um, I feel like my name really fits me because it I'm creative. I'm my my fucking voice and my ad libs is all over the place. So it it fits me. So man, like culture wise, like now, now that I'm around other Haitians and Haitians in Florida reaching out, it makes me feel comfortable doing the sounds I do. It makes me feel comfortable, just like Young Thug does the crazy voices he does. That's all a part of Haitian culture. If people don't realize it, like when you listen to Wycliffe, like it really, it's, it really comes from something. It's just turned into something that we like in our generation. Definitely, definitely. Speaking of Wycliffe, I, I was looking at the, uh, you have a new project, uh, Trap Art. Yeah. And I was looking at the uh, the track list. You have Wycliffe on there and you have Jack Boy. Uh, yeah. How was that connecting with Wycliffe to do that record? Well, to talk about Jack Boy, Jack Boy, like he signed to Empire. So okay. as soon as he signed, he found out he had artists on there that Haiti Baby. So we automatically like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, he was letting me know how Haitians, how Haitians get down, what we represent, and and how I should carry myself just because of my name. Like, you know, so we more like we brothers, like we we mesh real well in the studio. We we mesh real well just when we around each other. So that connection is is real, it's perfect, it's dope. Cause most artists, me, are the rappers, and get bad vibes. Like, oh, the fuck the rap game. Yeah. Me, it was more so me and Jack. It was just, it was like, you know, what I'm saying? it was destiny. It was meant to happen. Wycliffe, he found out about me when I had two thousand followers. As soon as I named myself on Instagram, Haiti baby, he reached out. Like, let me tap in. Who is this cat? You know what I'm saying? And he checked in with me, and he's been an uncle throughout my whole career. Like, anytime I need to call him, he picks up. If I tell him, y'all plan on taking a trip out there, he picks up, like, he gives me game, gives me books to read, you know, yeah. to help myself. So it's, it's real dope. And it's real dope, because like, naming yourself Haiti Baby, naming myself Haiti Baby is only one step. But like, hearing other people and their perspective, it just it just makes you feel like a king. Like, oh shit, like, yeah, I really, I really stand for something. Like, for sure. It's a whole village, a whole town, it's a whole, you feel me, whole, planet behind Haitians, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm rocking to the fullest. And my guy on this side, that's just, that's just, when when, I, when you hear me just start doing my melodic singing and stuff, that's just me being flavorful and colorful in the air. But I'm strict, I'm super West Coast, so people gotta yeah. understand. <laughs> when it sounds all over the place, I, it's all West Coast at the nah, end of the day. It's definitely a West Coast vibe listening to your music. Yeah. When you add that, that extra, um, um, into it, yeah. Yeah, that that's a little bit different than say your other uh, Bay Area West Coast counterparts. Yeah. So it gives it a different flair. Um. You you have performed at Rolling Loud in the past, uh, 2019, I believe, in the Bay Area. Yeah. Correct. How was that experience? Oh, I loved it. I killed it. Seeing seeing a bunch of fans like run from another artist and run to my set. I was like, damn, like that that's one hell of a feeling, you know what I'm saying? And the pandemic, it took that away from me, but it's okay. It's okay because because it's another day and I'm gonna kill it the next time I go on there. I'm gonna make it look easy. Yes, sir. That experience was dope because that was my first time performing in front of like 
over 40, 50,000 people. Like that's a lot of people. So, and I'm not the type of stage fright. I'm, I get more anxiety in the club. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when I'm in front of all those people and, and I'm performing my, my music, oh, it's just like, it's so easy. It comes like this. Gotcha. Yeah, so I can't wait to perform again. The, the fan, I feel like my favorite show is that Bay Area show. Just the vibes different than say Miami and New York or yeah. the LA show. It's just like a, a good like party vibe. The fans I feel are uh, diehard fans that come from the Bay. Do you feel yeah, like how you feel yeah. about the fans in the Bay Area versus uh, anywhere else you've been? The Bay Area is, is, has a very distinctive sound. We're very like, the Bay Area, I say we because Northern Cal is a unit. Mm -hmm. Our sound is unique because it, it almost sounds like, like it's in a box, but you can't even pretend to do what we do. You know, we dance in our videos. We got all the, we just, you know what I'm saying? So we're just very cultured people when it come out here. We, the like, Northern Cal has its own culture, if that makes sense. Like, yes. just the way yeah. we talk, our language. And we might not feel we got an accent, but as soon as we step out of bounds to like Miami or something, <laughs> we got an accent, you know? So it, it, it's, it's lovely being from out here and being around, being being from Northern Cal, being like in the tent, Oakland, like the home of MC Hammer, Tony, 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 you know what I'm saying? Keisha Cole, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to Tom Brady, just in the Super Bowl again. He from the Bay. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Tom Hanks. Like we got Northern Cal is a, it has a lot of stars, man. We got a whole lot of stars. Definitely, man. Uh, let's talk about this new project, Trap Art. How'd you come up with the uh, idea for the title, Trap Art? I feel like Trap is what I, my version of Trap is like West Coast. So Sugar Free, Snoop Dogg, NWA. That's my version of Gangster Trap. You know, Gangster Rap. You know what I'm saying? And E40. You know what I'm saying? When that's trap rap to me, not down south. And then artistic, I'm just giving that artistic side. Like when you hear, you might hear some little Latoya Williams on there. You might, you might get different feelings from the West Coast when it comes to me. I'm putting all different flavors, some Keisha Cole on there. You know what I'm saying? I might mix it in with some Joe to see. That's when I say art. That's artistic. And and then like you like you probably heard a couple of my songs. You probably seen the freestyle and how I go off beat and do my mm -hmm. little rants. Now this album trap art is structured. Okay. So it's way more organized and structured. So I, during this album, I stepped back and started listening to songs I grew up on, like artists I grew up on to, to get the game, to get my original sound and to master it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I checked up Usher Confessions and really studied the work and um, 50 Cent, Get Rich or Die Trying, really, really studied the work and like, okay, how did he word himself? what made him be so believable to the audience, really listening to Pac and really looking at his image and the way he carried himself outside of music. So I've been doing, I've been learning so much. So this album is probably my best body of work I'm, I've dropped ever. Nice, nice, man. That, and I guess like the growth over the years too of- uh, Exactly. Of building into your sound that you have. Yeah. And, and pushing, you know, grabbing like the features you want and, and the beats and the melodies and creating that sound. That's dope. Yeah. The, um, you released a single called Rich Mob. Uh, that's off the project. Yeah. And then uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing Vo uh, Voila. 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 Okay. I mean, here it is. Ah, okay. You want to speak about that's the new single dropping also. Yeah, uh, off the project. You want to speak about that song? Well, that's that song. Like, you feel me? I'm I'm very I'm real strategic. How do you say that fucking word? Strategic. Yeah. Strategic, yeah. Crazy. <laughs> so shout out my boy Jiggy. You know, I got my team. It's crazy. Again, I want to shout out to the BD BD family, man. BDE family, we're going crazy. We've been killing it. Y'all did a great job on this album. Um, Jiggy really helped me out picking songs that's meant for radio. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I got my friends that helped me pick out songs that's for the streets. You know, you gotta you gotta categorize your music. You know what I'm saying? I got songs for that, that that's for this audience, so I gotta put this on this platform. So voila, I'm really trying to distribute that on the radio more because I it has that feeling to it. You know what I'm saying? That feeling to be worldwide. Um, I got a track on there called Thug Passion. The streets go love it. You know what I'm saying? That's really that's it's like I'm I'm rapping in third person about someone else's life, right? But I'm making it all, I'm, I'm making it relate to everybody, you know? 
that makes any sense to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it does. It, it definitely does. So um, just be, making relatable music and Red Lights also, that drop, that song was was basically showcasting like, yeah, I can sing. I got melodies. I can do it too. You know what I'm saying? So um, Rich Mob and That Ain't My Type, those two records that just dropped Back to Back Fridays, okay. those records are just... People who grew up to period and fun up when it comes to my music, that's for y'all. You know, that that's that's for the that's for the younger crowd who just love me being me, talking my shit. So that's for them. Dope, man. Dope, man. I appreciate you uh tapping in with us at Rolling Loud Radio. Uh let the people know where they can get in touch with you. Uh and uh and uh tap in with Haiti Baby. Man, y'all can get in touch with me on Instagram at Haiti Baby, H-A-I-T-I underscore B-A-B-I-I on Twitter, same name, Snapchat, TikTok, Triller, Twitch, you know, follow me on, on all platforms. You can get this album on all sites, January 29th, Trap Art Drops, and a, a video, a special video dropping the same day as the album. So nice. stay on the lookout. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's the key of my career. If you ain't subscribed to the YouTube channel, you ain't gonna find out nothing about Haiti Baby. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, just 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 click the links in the bio and respect the grind, baby. Respect the grind because it's time for me to shine. It's my year. Definitely, definitely. Hey, baby, rolling loud, DJ Five Venoms. Let's go. Rolling loud, every Friday night, 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern. Serious XM, Hip Hop Nation, hosted by yours truly, DJ Five Venoms.